In this video, I am describing an innovative technique particularly used for posterior polar cataract and it's called sideways sculpting method. In case of PPC, there is a deficient posterior capsule or weak posterior capsule and we must avoid hydro dissection otherwise it will just rupture like this and that may lead to loss of nucleus in the vitreous cavity. Also always the anterior chamber must be maintained. Any collapse of anterior chamber may lead to opening of the posterior capsule and loss of vitreous. PC polishing should be avoided as PC is already fragile and there might be already a opening in the posterior capsule. Nucleus rotation also is preferably avoided as the weakened posterior capsule might just rupture and open if there is nucleus rotation and if it opens up many times we find that nucleus is tilting as the PC has given way. You can see here that after the nucleus rotation the nucleus starts tilting to one side indicating that posterior capsule has now opened and we might have to convert such case to small incision cataract surgery so we can deliver this nucleus out of the eye as the PC is already open. So one has to go with the strategy to avoid such premature opening of the posterior capsule so that we can remove the nucleus before the PC opens up. So you have to avoid hydro dissection, do hydro delineation if required inside out hydro delineation prevent shallowing of the anterior chamber at the same time avoid excess deepening of the anterior chamber as well always do ovd bss exchange to keep the chamber maintained and for cortex removal we can use floor petal pattern removal that means the plaque is removed last for nucleus management we have to make sure that we do low iop and low parameter phaco the layer by layer phaco emulsification is very effective in softer grades of cataract and avoid nucleus rotation. Posterior polar cataract with softer grade is a bit easier to tackle as you can do layer by layer removal of the nucleus and then epinucleus. But in case of denser nucleus it poses a challenge. So I am going to describe an innovative technique or method to take care of denser nuclei in case of PPC. This is sideways sculpting method. So the initial sculpting or the trench is made in the center of the nucleus of adequate size that is length and breadth and then the second trench which is at perpendicular to the main trench is done without rotation of the nucleus with sideways movement of the phaco tip. Same way on the other side with sideways movement of the phaco tip the trench is completed. So we get plus sign sculpting at the end without rotation of the nucleus and then we can separate these quadrants and emulsify. So we'll see this technique here. So after removal of the NTP nucleus the first trench is made of adequate depth at least 80% of the nucleus and then after the first trench there is this sideways movement of the phaco tip to create another trench which is perpendicular to the first trench. Thus we have four quadrants here which are gently separated. Avoid excessive separation as the posterior plaque may open up. So after the gentle separation of these four quadrants, each quadrant is then emulsified. Advantage of this technique is that one it avoids rotation at the same time we can complete most of the steps with low bottle height and keeping the anterior chamber maintained. So we can remove even the dense nuclei with this method without disturbing the epinucleus and the posterior capsular plaque or the PPC area. So we will see this technique in a denser cataract. This patient was diagnosed posterior polar cataract many years back but he 
came for surgery very late and the technique followed here is sideways sculpting method to make the first scrap as you can see I am carefully dividing the nucleus avoiding excessive stretching so that the posterior area or the plaque is not disturbed and now I am doing the side wave sculpting so as to achieve four quadrants and you can see the center is still attached I am not trying to separate it completely and now one piece at a time is pulled into the center and emulsified after removing the first two quadrants the sub incisional quadrants are also pulled to the center and not rotated thus all four quadrants can be emulsified avoiding nucleus rotation and excessive stretch of the posterior capsule can be prevented thus the posterior capsule even if it is weak or defective will not open up until all the nucleus is taken out of the eye which is very important because if you can remove the nucleus and epinucleus from the eye even if there is dehiscence of posterior capsule it's much easily manageable than when dehiscence occurs with nucleus inside the eye so the cortex aspiration was done 360 degrees by floor petal method that is removing from all side and then trying to remove the central plaque at the end and as in this case I would like to show that after removal of the cortex we found that there was a pre-existing opening in the posterior capsule so if the surgeon had not taken all the precautions and had not used the sideways sculpting method and uh, if hydro dissection or nucleus rotation was done probably this PC would have ruptured and we would have faced nucleus drop so this is the technique that we would like to describe this is sideways sculpting method after the first trench the perpendicular trench is done without rotation of the nucleus same thing is done on the other side so now we have four quadrants which can be gently separated and emulsified completely without requirement of rotation and excessive stretch on the posterior capsule so the sideways sculpting method is a novel technique for dealing with posterior polar cataract particularly denser nucleus i am sure it will help you in managing posterior polar cataracts thank you